man, LD, WMMAC, this is your boy, the coach, you're live, live, live on the coach, your show, the coach, your show, live, and man, salute to all you raggedy mouth rascals, it's all good in the hood, man, what's going on, man, what's up, Taylor Guardado, boy, that's a dog, Taylor Guardado got dog inside her. I'm telling you, man, she came in there, man. She had a swag. She came into the octagon with a swag. She stepped into the octagon with a swag. She looked at Laura Sanchez with a swag. Man, she set eyes on Laura Sanchez. Then she looked at Laura Sanchez like she was a raw piece of steak. Guys, I kid y'all not. Like she was raw chicken, man. She looked at Laura Sanchez. And um, I said, oh, man. I said, I think Laura Sanchez is going to take an ass whooping. Soon as I saw that, I said, well, it's over. Man, look, Taylor Godado went in there, man, and she immediately, man, she immediately got up in Laura Sanchez's ass. I'm talking about right up there, went to her. She hit Laura Sanchez with a little jab. Then, all of a sudden, Laura Sanchez on the ground, and Taylor Godado just, just, she mauled Laura Sanchez, mauled her. But I was impressed with Laura Sanchez off her back, though. She looked good, man. And Laura Sanchez was actually causing a little, you know, like posing a threat to Taylor Godado off of her back but you know laura sanchez couldn't get nothing going man taylor gordado i mean she grinded her out man i'm talking about man grinded her out i'm talking about kept her head in that dang chest kept on the ground and she even fought through the guard of taylor's uh, laura sanchez she fought through that guard man and i started looking at this i said wait a minute taylor gordado might be a small threat to kayla harrison i said it's possible and I started thinking about that matchup because, I mean, honestly, man, Laura Sanchez, this is easy work. No disrespect to Laura Sanchez, but this was easy work, y'all. This was easy, easy work. Taylor Garrado did damn near what she wanted to do on the ground, man. And it's just that Laura Sanchez had no answer. She had no answer whatsoever. Um, you know, like I said before, the guard of Taylor, of Laura Sanchez, it was nice, man. And she was actually throwing up, you know, trying to throw up different submissions. But, right, that's about it, man. Taylor Gordado fought through all of that, man. Defended all of that stuff. And then she commenced to just whooping up on Laura's ass. Whooping up on her, man. Kept on that ground and just mauled her, man. Kept grinding into the ground. Grinding her against the cage. And it, it was like, this fight was extremely one-sided. I'm interested to see who they're going to put her in there with next, man. I'm interested to see, man. Um, Taylor Godardo, man, she tough, man. She's as tough as they come. And I think that she is going to cause a problem for people in this tournament. Um, I don't know. And I think this is loss number two for Laura Sanchez. I know that when you lose two losses, man, uh, from what I'm understanding, then that's it. You know, you can only lose twice. So at least, at least they won't be putting Taylor Godardo in there with any more people with losing records. Because I kind of, I don't know, this... This PFL tournament, this, this is a weird tournament because they're putting people in the octagon, right? Like winners with the losers. And in a tournament, if you had a, a legit tournament bracket, you're supposed to fight the winners to get down to the grand finale. But then again, I guess the PFL trying to get their money's worth and their money's worth out of these people under contract. I don't know. But this is a weird tournament, man. It's strange. Like, if they're going to do that, they need to have consolations with people who lost. Like, I, I don't understand the structure, man. Like, they're putting winners in there with people who legit got their ass whooped. And, <laughs> you know, it just, to me, it don't make any sense. Um, but, man, salute to, hey, man, salute to the homie Taylor Godado, man. She went in there and she went in there and just laid the ass whooping on this girl. Uh, you know, Laura Sanchez, keep your head up. Well, I don't know how much of a head she's going to keep up in this whole situation, but, man. It was just a bad day. It was a bad day for Laura Sanchez, man. She couldn't get it going. If the fight could have stayed standing, I figured, I, f I felt like Laura Sanchez had more of a chance. But, you know, Taylor Godardo was having none of that, man. She was having none of that stand-up game. She shut it down quickly, quickly, and went to her strong points. But, you know, I was actually impressed with Taylor Godardo's stand-up. I'm, You know, and I was kind of hoping that maybe she would explore it and, you know, throw some hands with Laura Sanchez. But, nah, she wasn't trying to have it. So salute to Taylor Godardo in a unanimous decision victory over Laura Sanchez. Is your boy the coach show live, live, live on the coach show, the coach show live. Subscribe, guy, to uh, subscribe, uh, you raggedy mouth rascals, to the best women's MMA platform on YouTube.